I, yeah, well, let's. I don't have as much space as I thought I'd have for this. And now I'm sad. Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel. And today, I am back. Yes, as you can see, I am back. Now, what are we doing today? I myself don't know, which is always good, but I wanted to try something new, something different. Well, as different as me talking to a camera can be, but I wanted to do something more like a podcast sort of things. We all know that my videos are a bit lightweight on the editing side, it's true, I will not try to go away from, from the fact. But I really want to do this, like, you know, you can pop this on in the background, do some gaming while you do your chores, and just listen to me. I don't know. I, I thought it would be a kind of a neat idea. I mean, podcasts are all the rage now, and, you know, why not? Why not a, I don't know, let's call it, today's Friday, let's call it Pizza Friday. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's not going to stick. Anyway. I am back. Where have I been? Why have I been away? What has been happening? I want to start there. So, as some of you may know, and as I, I've discussed many times, I was in university up until a month ago. And yes, I recently graduated. I'm a Zoomer graduate. So, I graduated university again for the second time. Yes, I, I went to the second round. And yeah, no, about a month ago, my classes ended, my, my term ended, and yes, I passed everything. Thank God for that. Well, thank me and one of my teachers, who basically carried my graduation on his back. I gotta thank that man, because it's thanks to him, I can safely say that it's thanks to him that I graduated, because he offered me a choice. And I took that choice, so, you know. But yes, I graduated recently, and now I'm in that sort of limbo all students are, after they finish university, that it's the job. Not necessarily my first job, mind you, I've already worked for about a year or so before going back to university, but now it's that added sense of... You know, with the pandemic and me being nearly 27 years old and still being kind of stuck in my life, it's it's one of those feelings. But I'm sorting that out and I decided, you know, it, it's been a while since I've done this, since I've recorded myself. And I enjoy it. I cannot say that I don't. I really do. And if you go and, and see my videos... I think it shows that how much I really do like just sitting here and talking to the camera, just just saying things. You know how much I love to talk, and I do love to talk. But where do I want to take this? Well, that's a very good question because I do not know the answer to that. My channel's content has been erratic, to say the least. I... Honestly, I practically tried it all. I started with manga chapter reviews, I did some walkthroughs and playthroughs. Well, actually playthroughs, not necessarily walkthroughs, because more playthroughs than anything else. I tried playthroughs, I played Minecraft, for God's sake, I played Minecraft on this channel. Uh, Harry Potter Minecraft though, but still Minecraft nonetheless. So, and... Yeah, I did speculation videos or my last, my latest trend, and I do want to keep going with those, the Hogwarts Legacy, and we'll talk a bit more about Hogwarts Legacy in a bit. I, it's one of the topics I want to cover today. It's Hogwarts Legacy. Um, but yeah, honestly, I really, I haven't found myself yet in YouTube. I don't, I still haven't decided if I want to keep going, if I just want to put this all under a rock and move forward, like... A knowledge that this was a time in in my life, something I experienced, something I did, something I tried. 
but it may not have worked out because I don't know if it will work out because I really don't know what I want to do. So, and part of the reason that keeps making me come back, and this is going to sound extremely cheesy, and I apologize for that. You might want some toast to put all this cheese, but it's you guys. Like, about, I don't want to lie, but I really don't remember, about two weeks ago, I was coming back from my week vacation with my girlfriend. We, we went for our first solo vacation together, the both of us. And as I was coming back home, as we were coming back home, I got a notification from YouTube with a comment on like a video I did months ago. The, the last, I think it was the last video I did on Hogwarts Legacy, actually. And I, I don't remember the, the guy's name. You can go check the, the comments. It's, it's the most recent one. If I remember, well, maybe the guy doesn't want to be... Anyway, the comment is public. If I remember, I'll put it here. I'll put the whole exchange here. And I thought to myself, well, gosh, that's... There are still people going and commenting on that. And, you know, I'm sure some of you may have tried the hand at this YouTube gig and some of you have fallen in the same pitfalls I have, and, and I believe as all aspiring YouTubers do, is the pitfall of the metrics. Like, you look at your channel's metrics and you feel disappointed with yourself, with the system, maybe. But then come these common comments, and, and I was like... Well, now I really want to do it again. And here I am. So, again, as I say in all my return videos, again, you can check all those. I've done, I've done like two or three return videos at this point now. And every time I say the same thing, I'll not make promises, not to myself, not to anyone else, because then that's a surefire way of me not actually doing anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to find myself, I'm going to experiment with a few things. I'm going to keep the speculation videos because I really like to, I really love to do those. So I'm going to keep those. I have a few in the oven. Well, the oven being my head still. I have a few in the oven. I have one that's mostly, I don't want to say done, but it's mostly set. I just need to write a basic script, get some footage. I'm going to talk about that in a bit as well. Get some footage for it and, you know, just just do it. Just try and do it. Keep it simple. Keep it focused. I want... This is something I want to really try and compromise. I want to try and make my speculation videos a bit shorter than they are. Because if you know my speculation videos, they often take at least 30 minutes. And I really want to try and, and condense them not leave content outside and just make them smaller for the purpose of making them smaller, but try to make them maybe more digestible and not ramble as much as I do, because I do ramble a lot. And I want to try and leave the rambling for these sorts of videos that are meant to be built more as podcast sort of videos rather than a, a speculation video with, more, with a bit more editing, more footage on screen, and, you know, things that may or may not keep your attention on the video. This, this that I'm recording right now, and that I probably have published, is really just one that you can pop in, and as, as, as I said, do some gaming, do some chores on the background, and just having my lovely voice enter your earbuds, and just, you know, you know have a friendly chat. So, that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm going to try and do. My speculation videos and my theory videos and whatnot, other videos that I think that I can work to make them smaller, make them more accessible maybe, I'll try to do. Be more focused in what I say, not ramble as much, because I have this tendency to, you know, I'm talking about something and I think of another thing and I follow that thread. And when I look at the time, it's already been half an hour and I have not said nearly as much as I wanted to do so, and the video ends up getting massively big, too big for my taste. Well, not for my taste, but for YouTube's taste, maybe. So yeah, what are the new projects? What are the next projects I want to get out of the way? I'm going to keep the speculation videos on Hogwarts Legacy. Now, Hogwarts Legacy is in a bit of a limbo state. 
and I want to segue to that with the E3 topic. Now, E3 came and went, really. Last week or something, I mean, two weeks ago. Let me check the, the calendar here. Yeah, like, last week, E3 started, and, well, two weeks ago, more so. Two weeks ago, E3 started, it came and went, and it was like, okay, this was a thing that happened. And mind you, I'm not saying that it was awful by any sense, just because I don't feel anything particularly for any of the games shown. Because let me tell you, I didn't. Uh, I, I saw the majority of E3 and I followed the news pretty closely and there wasn't really anything that caught my eye. And that's not a bad thing, that's a, that's a good thing. Because it means that there are games... I, I'm going to quote some someone, I don't know the name, but there was this old uncle about the Assassin's Creed games and that's another topic in and of, in and of itself. <laughs> but here we go, rambling. That, you know, it's good that there are games that don't appeal to me or to other people. It, that's good. That's a good thing. So when I say that for me E3 was kind of meh, it's not because I think the games were bad. It's just because nothing appealed to me. And that, that was the problem with E3 this year for me. Like, I saw the, the Microsoft conference. I saw the Square Enix conference. And I saw the UB's forward one after the fact, so I was not live for that. And out of all those three, and surprisingly enough, well, not surprisingly enough, they had a massively good conference. It was Microsoft's. Microsoft's and Bethesda's conference was fire. It was literal fire. Like, I don't own an Xbox, never did. And I got out of that conference thinking, well... Maybe I should reevaluate my my choices. Xbox really does look like a good place to be as a gamer. Like a hundred percent. This start of the start of this generation is looking very promising to to Microsoft. Like eventually, I think that Sony will get her act straight. I hope. They had the big debacle with the, with the launch of this generation. It was awful. Let's not beat around the bush. Sony's performance at the launch of this generation was awful. Awful, awful, awful. And the insistence in cross-gen in cross -gen playing is maybe going to play against their favor. Not financially speaking, because they'll make top dollar anyway. But I don't know. I find it weird. But... One thing that I really, really felt a bit worrying was the lack of big games. You know what I mean? Like, Microsoft had her exclusives, its exclusives, and, you know, now with the Bethesda business, they have Starfield exclusive, I guess, or maybe they don't. But they have launch exclusivity or something with Bethesda titles, and now they have Starfield Again, it's a, it's another but as the hype. Do we really want to put our coin in another but as the hype? Given their track record recently, you know, maybe people would prefer them to work on the Elder Scrolls Six instead of Starfield. Again, we haven't seen much. We've seen an, an in-engine trailer. It's not a lot. Maybe the game will surprise us all, and maybe Bethesda will have learned, and maybe they have learned something from recent debacles, such as Cyberpunk and... Well, it's not Cyberpunk, it's from CD Projekt Red, of course, but these things affect the whole business, I think. So maybe they've learned something, and maybe they're trying to up their game a bit, I don't know. But I do feel there was a lack of more promising titles. And the one that interests me the most is Hogwarts Legacy. Now, is the fact that Hogwarts Legacy was missing from E3 and has been so quiet ever since January, I believe, since they've announced that the game was delayed for 2022, is that a worrying sign? Is that a sign for concern? 
Personally, I don't think so. Because I still believe that we may see something of the game whenever Sony decides to do their big summer event. Because yes, I do think that they are going to do, and if I may be so bold, I do think they should do a summer event. Because it's all well and good to do this small 30-minute states of play here and there, focusing on one game. But I think that it's really good, and, and again, Microsoft proved this in DC3, it's very good and very profitable for them to have like this big one hour long video, a uh, one hour long video, one hour long event, one hour and a half maybe, with just games back to back to back to back, like with some developer intervention, not a lot like Square Enix did with Guardians of the Galaxy. <coughs> but, you know, you show a trailer, you have a little bit of a talk with the developers, boom, next trailer. A little bit of talk with the developers, boom, next trailer. Maybe some of the games you can just like have trailer, trailer, trailer and no developer because maybe the games are early in development or something and there's not much to say. But you know, they will benefit massively from an event like this. I personally think so. I think we can expect a Sony event. I was thinking at most the beginning of July, but since they haven't announced anything yet, I don't know if they'll do it so soon. So at most, end of July, beginning of August, you know, after all the buzz with E3 has died, Sony comes in and snatches the scene. Then I think we can see a lot of the titles that were missing from E3. Final Fantasy 16, Hogwarts Legacy, like uh, maybe that uh, Forspoken, I think it is, you know, that, that, that new big game that was announced with, with Sony as well. That now apparently they, they partnered with AMD to, you know, deliver the most graphically potent experience they can. So maybe we can see some more of that and maybe some new IPs, some new games that we haven't heard about. Uh, maybe, you know, God forbid... <laughs> God forbid it's something about God of War, the, the sequel to, to to the PS4 game, which you know has also been delayed, but there may be something they they are able to show now, so we don't know. I think it's going to be good. But regarding Hogwarts Legacy, spe Hogwarts Legacy specifically, is there a cause for concern? As I said, I do not think so. Like with the pandemic, we saw a lot of games being pushed back, or pushed forward in this case. They have been delayed, things have stalled the development, have changed the way we live, we work, we, we do everything. So we, it's normal that these things happen. And, and these projects are massive. I can only imagine, like... I, I'll speak for myself. The general idea that I have is often way underscaled compared to what really is the development of a game. Like, I'm no expert in these things and I learn new things all, every day and that's awesome. So, I can only imagine what building a game around the world so massive and so detailed as the Wizarding World is like because... You know my speculation videos? You remember the one about the story? Where I wanted, where I wished we would have a seven year long, a, a story spanning all the seven years of the Hogwarts curriculum, plus some extra. Yeah, like, I, I am sure that the, that the developers thought about this as well. It can't be just me and some other people we now come to the agreement that it is a massive undertaking and it would probably never work unless the games unless the game was part of a series and you know you'd have one game dedicated to year one or year one and two then another to three and four and another to um, year five and year six and then one to year seven and the post Hogwarts thing so you know four or five games that would span the whole curriculum plus a bit more but that's not what they're going to do so I think anyway 
But I will say that there's a concerning lack of information. A few days ago, I went and checked their social media, their Instagram, their Twitter, all that, the website. And yeah, like there's not a lot of things. And that in itself is a bit concerning in a way, because, you know, when you're waiting on a game, I speak for myself again. I like the, the constant injection of information. Maybe I'm a bit spoiled in some regards, you know. I'm thinking about the, the, the Bandai Namco games, you know. The Pirate Warriors series, uh, the, the Storm series back in the day when it was launching and like you had scans from Chonin Jump every week with new characters or like a piece of the story or anything and now more recently with the Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles like I'm not particularly big on Demon Slayer like I saw the anime I saw the movie and it's okay I, I like it enough but the game initially didn't didn't click on me but having that consistency I, I was hooked every week I was hooked like seeing the scans and then seeing the videos they'd launch every Monday or every Sunday and I was like Okay, there's this some, cool, some cool stuff, you know. I was pumped for that. And for a game as big as Hogwarts Legacy, and, and you know, my love for Harry Potter runs very deep. It's, it's the oldest world that I have engraved in me. It's, for some people, it's probably like Lord of the Rings or some other thing. For me, it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter is like the first world where I really came into contact with the nerd side of the Force, so so to speak. And it was really the first one. I started with the movies, then I went to the books. I even have all of the games minus the, the Deathly Hallows ones. And I have the Quidditch game, crying out loud. I have the Quidditch game. And that game is amazing. I, I love it to that. So, yeah, the lack of news is sort of disconcerting to me a bit. But again, as I said, it's due to the whole situation. Would I like to see, you know, some snippets of information here or there, a concept art here or there, an interview? Something like, you know, we are trying to do this. Because what it makes it feel like is that... Maybe the game was in early in an earlier stage of development than we thought. Because either they had to redo and rethink a lot of it since they showed that trailer at E3. Well, not E3, the, the state of play of Sony's. Or they really just don't want to share anything, which gives room to the doubt to like, well, is really there? Is there really anything concrete they can share, or are they changing things? You know, at, by this point, I would expect maybe you know a more precise date where the game would set would be set because we have I discussed this in the in the in the story video. We have the vague late eighteen hundreds date, but as I said in that video, the late eighteen hundreds spans a period of nearly thirty years. It's kind of hard, and I tried to pinpoint it, but you know, like the, the, the goalpost introduction on Quidditch, I think, was the reason I used. And then I tried to pinpoint the, the director, the, the headmaster, sorry, the, the headmaster, the caretaker, and all that. But, you know, I was expecting now, and especially after the news of the delay, that they would try to keep, you know, just, just a little flame... Just a little flame running. It doesn't need to be a big fire. But, you know, they had the news of the of the delay in January. Then maybe in March they could have said, oh, you know, we, we delayed. Yes, we had to do it. But hey, here's a developer uh, interview or Q&A uh, with you guys that we take some questions and we give answers to some. And, you know, we give some vague answers to some so you can... You know, deduce some things yourself. That would have been cool. But again, totally respect what they what they do. And I really, really hope to see this game come to the light of day. And I think it will be awesome. No matter what, like, 
as long as it's not as it's not a live service game which i think they don't they will not go that route I, as long as it's not a live service game i think will be good so speaking of harry potter and speaking of continuing the videos of harry potter i was thinking and i don't know maybe this is just me being completely out of league here but i was thinking maybe perhaps of streaming the PC tie-in games. As I said, I have them all, from Philosopher's Stone to the Half-Blood Prince and the Quidditch game. We do not forget the Quidditch game. And I was thinking, I, I've been muttering on this video that's going to be about the spell casting in the game. You know, tiny little, tiny little mechanic that may or may not play a big part in a, in a Harry Potter game. Spell casting, just do it like Deadly Hallows and go pew 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 pew. One goes broom. Yeah, no, I'm joking. Deadly Hallows Part One and Part Two are horrible games. But then again, it it would be hard to do a game, a tie-in game, from a from the only book and movies that are not Hogwarts centered. So, yeah, again, I understand the compliment, but. The game is just awful. So, and I've been thinking about how the spell casting in the game is going to work, and I thought to myself, you know, maybe I should look back at the previous games, the previous Harry Potter games, and try to understand a little bit better how the spell casting worked on those games, and you know, try to predict how it can work in Hogwarts Legacy. And for that, as I said, I want to collect footage for that, and. I was thinking of doing it and maybe, I don't know, maybe stream the games on Twitch or YouTube, I don't know which one's preferable. You can tell me in the comments if you'd like to see that. I'll leave my Twitch, it should appear somewhere in, in the card, if I remember to put it. It should appear somewhere on screen, but if not, check my description, I have my links all there. Twitter, Instagram and Twitch, I'm gonna have it as well there. Uh, I don't post much on Instagram at all. But I, maybe I'll try to, to go back to it. Twitter is the same. I'm a bit more active on Twitter. I'm there all day checking the, the news and stuff. Most of my posts are reposts to try and win free games. I admit, guilty as charged. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to activate it a bit more, be a little, a little bit more active there. But for that, I need you guys to be there and engage with me. And I'll engage with you on Twitter. And yeah, Twitch is just... You know, a feeble dream, an idea that I had. I don't even know if I can pull it off. But I'll try it. If you want to see that, just tell me in the comments. Give me some tips if you'd like. And I'll wait on that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else I can talk about. I talked about E3. That's, that was the main topic I wanted to discuss. I thought a little bit about my absence over the last... I don't know how many months it has been, honestly, since my last video. I, I can check it really quick. I have I have my channel open here, so let's just see. Oh boy, it has been longer than I than I anticipated. God. And actually, yeah, my last video was on the sorting ceremony. Jesus Christ, seven months ago. So that was November. No, October. Oh, God. My last video was on October last year. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the now video as I... Oh, God. Yeah, it was the now video. And yeah, the comment on that video is from three weeks ago. It's by Weird6. So if you're watching this, thanks, mate. Do know that you played a, a, a small part. You played a part. It doesn't matter how small or big it is. You played a part in, in me being here today. So th thank you very much. And thank you all for, for your comments. I really do get a big smile whenever I see a notification with a comment. So it sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. So yeah, seven months. Yeah, seven months. That's, that's a big period. Yeah, that's a big period. My God. 
Ah, uh, I miss this. I'm not gonna say I don't. As I as I said before, I really miss this. But yeah, the sorting ceremony video was the narrow video, and I said now like a hundred times. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I think this is gonna be it for this rambling of mine. This this pizza Friday or whatever it is I'll end up calling it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you'll stick around for more. I don't know if I'm going to do more, if I'm going to keep going. Uh, just before we go though, I th I just I glossed over the 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 Ubisoft conference thing. Uh, yeah, I'm debating on whether to do a video on that or not. Because, you know, I'm not a Ubisoft cover cover or anything. I the few videos I did on Assassin's Creed like didn't really took off. So I mean I don't know if I have a basis to to, to speak on on Ubisoft. Uh, but then again, anything that I can say has already been said. And on that I think I might just say, well, I will not be covering any more of Ubisoft's things. At all, really. I, in a sense, I'm glad my Assassin's Creed reviews never took off. Because that could have been a shackle that I would have a harder time getting rid of. So, yeah, maybe maybe I'll just ignore it from here on out. And that's it. Hashtag old Ubisoft accountable, as we all know. Like, old everyone that does those kinds of things accountable. It's not just Ubisoft that that has a problem. Like loads of other companies have similar problems. So all everyone accountable that does those horrible things. But yes, that's it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please, as always, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. As I always say, the comment section is yours to use. And maybe I should not use the other word I used to use. Which now said in context with what I said doesn't really... Yeah, the comment section down below is at your discretion within reason, of course. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you next time with whichever project it is I am working on. I'll see you then and... We're back, baby! Woo! Comment hashtag we're back if you stick till the very end. Bye bye.